Hi, I'm Pip Waller and this is Being Human and today I want to talk about plant spirit medicine uh, which is an amazing form of healing that I practice and that I was really lucky enough to learn from a great healer called Elliot Cowan. So plant spirit medicine, I first came across it when um, Really, when I was really young, I was in my 20s and I, I read Eliot's book. He's got a book. He wrote a book called Plant Spirit Medicine. And uh, the only thing I really took from that book is this way of using the shamanic journey to journey with plants, to meet with plants and build a relationship with them, which in itself is absolutely fabulous. And that really spoke to me because I, when I was doing my herbal medicine training, which I, I qualified in, in 1989, so I was just thinking, wow, it's like actually 31 years coming up in April. So I, was, I did some extra stuff with Elizabeth Brook, who's a fabulous herbalist and astrologer and, and hedge witch. And she taught me and a, a group of us, she taught us how to do like guided, she did guided visualizations with us, with plants, meditation, with dried herbs, sitting with the dried herb, feeling it tasting it, smelling it and going to meet it. And that was the first, my first introduction to seeing plants as, I'm going to say, as people or as beings, not just as a sort of chemical mass of active constituents. So I'd done that and that informed my practice right from the beginning, my practice of herbal medicine. And then also I'd learned to do the shamanic journey. I'd met Michael Harner, who created the shamanic journey me uh, method, and I'd learned to do journeying with, with him. And then I'd learned soul retrieval. So then when I came across Elliot's book and I was like, oh, this is great. This is actually, yeah, use that journey as a way of, which I, I was doing anyway, as a way of connecting with the plants, which actually is about connecting with living plants as well. Because what we tend to do is we, we sit with the plants, we go out into nature and find plants where they're growing wild and connect with them like that. And then do the journey. So it's, but it's all about a way of seeing the plants, not just seeing them, but experiencing the plants as beings who we can build a relationship with. So that's, the, that's sort of one aspect of it. But the other aspect, which I, uh, I see as part of any healing modality of any kind, you know, orthodox medicine, acupuncture, herbs, homeopathy, whatever, there's sort of two ends to them. They, there's, a, there's the healing itself, the, uh, the actual... Um, therapeutic agent, you could say, which, uh, you know, with plant spirit medicine, we're talking about the energy of the plants, the plant spirits, and they help in all sorts of ways, absolutely no doubt about it. And, but then there's also the other side of a healing modality, which is to have a really good system of diagnosis and a protocol for treatment. So how do we, because people are complicated, we're pretty complicated, how do we really, as healers, really touch people on on the, on the deep level that people need to be touched. And how do we find, how do we learn to listen and feel and find what the person is most crying out for? So uh, uh, what's the most benefit that we can give? And we're talking about on, on a spiritual level, but with plant spirit medicine. But of course, as uh, anybody that's ever studied any kind of energetic or spiritual medicine knows, the, there's a general uh, understanding that all, that the foundation of everything is energy. So whatever's going on in our body, the foundation of it that it's coming from, uh, it's affected by our energy or our spirit. So if we can really get deep and affect the spirit, then very often the physical problems will resolve. Um, so plant, for me, I'd, I'd had this uh, relationship. I had a lot of plant friends and, uh, I'd, and that definitely informed my herbal medicine all the years I was practicing. But I, I hadn't really found a way of understanding of really hearing and understanding how to hear and you know how to really uh, pinpoint what a person needed and not that there aren't other methods but that it didn't really speak to me like I, I, astrology for example is a great method some people really get it and work like that and that's great it didn't really work for me uh, there's other other systems but but for me I hadn't found my way so when I was lucky enough to work with Elliot Cow and I, I was lucky enough to, to do his course and uh, it was 16 years ago, and I, I learned to, about the, the system of the five elements from him, five element uh, uh, ancient Chinese way of, that had been redis not rediscovered, but had been put together and brought to the West by J.R. Worsley, who 
Elliot trained with learning acupuncture, five element acupuncture. It's a very spiritual system, but the thing that is beautiful about it is it's a, a particular way of diagnosing what is what does a person really you know need what's the soul the spirit crying out for on the deepest level and it's a, a like a it's a, a language that nature understands it's a language of nature so when we uh, connect with the plants when the, the plants really understand that language so for me that's that's it in a nutshell plant spirit medicine i i'm still going i started to have plant spirit medicine 16 years ago when i was training and I still have it and I absolutely love it. I, for me, it's a cradle to grave medicine. It's helped me through some really difficult times. It's actually helped me with some physical problems that I've had in that time. And it's absolutely helped me in some ways that it's very, very difficult to really describe because they're, they're changes in the spirit that I've experienced. And, you know, the spirit doesn't really deal in words. It's more about feelings or something. So I wish I could say it was a total miracle and da -da, you'd go and have a couple of treatments and all your problems would be over. It's not, uh, but it absolutely is a sort of slow miracle. And I've also had the great privilege to be able to work with lots of people and, and share it with lots of people and see those, those sort of, uh, not the same changes that I've had because we're all different, but see all sorts of really, really interesting, mysterious things happen for people. So I just wanted to big it up, Plant Spirit Medicine. I wrote a book called Touched by Nature, Plant Spirit Medicine Journeys with a very good friend and colleague, Lucy Wells, who, who lives near Ludlow. And that describes it more in full if you wanna if you want to find out more. And there's not very many plant spirit medicine healers working in this way in the world, but if you can if there is one within reach of you, I really encourage you to go and have it. So uh, thanks very much for listening. I'm Pip Waller, this is being human. I dropped my little gizmo on the floor that stops the thing. So anyway, yeah, plant spirit medicine.